Welcome to the World Register. The World Register is an independent news source providing truthful, unbiased, and timely reporting about people, places, and events. Reuters News Agency reports today that the United States deployed a battery of Patriot missiles in Lithuania to be used in NATO training exercises. According to the report, this is the first time the advanced defense system has been brought to the Baltic states. A Lithuanian Defense Ministry spokeswoman told Reuters that the missile system was brought to the Sanalai military base on Monday ahead of the Tobruk legacy exercise and will be withdrawn when the exercise ends on July 22nd. The NATO exercise takes place ahead of the large-scale Zapad 2017 exercise by Russia and Belarus, which NATO officials believe could bring more than 100,000 troops to the borders of Poland and the three Baltic NATO allies, Estonia, Latvia, and Lithuania. Since the Crimea was annexed by Russia in 2014, the United States has deployed detachments of troops which have been augmented by four NATO battle groups of more than 1,000 soldiers. Speaking to Reuters, Lithuania's defense minister, Romandis Karobolas, said, quote, The deployment of patriots is important because it demonstrates that such moves are no longer a taboo in the region. It proves that the missiles can be brought to wherever they are needed, which is very important. In another report by Reuters News Agency, three years after the Islamic State seized the city of Mosul and made it the stronghold of a caliphate they said would take over the world, Iraq's Prime Minister declared victory over the terrorists in Mosul on Monday. Speaking on state television, Prime Minister Hadir al-Abadi said, quote, I announce from here the end and the failure and the collapse of the terrorist state of falsehood and terrorism which the terrorist Daesh announced from Mosul. End quote. Daesh is the Arabic acronym for the Islamic State. A 100,000-strong coalition of Iraqi government units, Kurdish Peshmerga fighters, and Shiite militias launched the offensive to recapture the city from the militants in October with key air and ground support from a U.S.-led coalition. Wearing a black military uniform and flanked by commanders from the security forces, Prime Minister al-Abadi thanked troops and the coalition, but he warned that more challenges lay ahead. Moments before raising an Iraqi flag, he added, quote, We have another mission ahead of us, to create stability, to build and clear Daesh cells, and that requires an intelligence and security effort, and the unity which enabled us to fight Daesh, end quote. And Breitbart News Network reports today that freshman enrollment at the University of Missouri is down 35% since the protest that centered on student complaints about supposed inaction from campus police with regards to acts of racial bigotry. According to the report, the university acknowledges that the 2015 protests are the main reason for the drop in enrollment. Administrators believe that most families now consider the institution to be either a breeding ground for unchecked bigotry or a playground for student protesters to run amok. The student movement behind the protest, called Concerned Student 1950, set up a tent city on campus in late 2015. Then, University of Missouri journalism professor Melissa Click was filmed calling for muscle to remove a student journalist who was documenting the protest efforts. The protests led to the resignation of the university's president, Tim Wolfe. Addressing the low enrollment numbers, Mun Choi, the new University of Missouri system president, said, quote, The general consensus was that it was because of the aftermath of what happened in November 2015. There were students from both in-state and out-of-state that just did not apply, or those who did apply but decided not to attend, end quote. The New York Times report claims that the protest that took place at the University of Missouri likely served as an inspiration for protest efforts at other institutions such as Middlebury College, UC Berkeley, and Evergreen State College.